Hello and welcome. Before we continue building our e-commerce website with Vue.js, I wanna talk a little bit about Firebase and AWS. Uh, as you know, in the begin beginning of the vi this uh, video series, I said I'm going to use one of these cloud services, either Firebase or AWS. Now I am going to compare them. Of course, they are not comparable, okay? They are not comparable, they are completely different. Uh, not different, but they have like different functionalities. That's why in this video I'm going to talk ab about both of them. So if you are a beginner to both of them, you will have a complete understanding of how these things are going to work and why you should use Firebase for your application. So starting from AWS, AWS is a cloud service. They have a lot of services. What we are going to do is we are going to, if you, are, you have ever uh, did any web hosting, they have a service for web hosting. If you want to install any Linux, machine uh, and control it from anywhere in the world you are you can do it in their server but that is not what you can do in firebase basically aws is a, a bunch of cloud services that if you want to build if you want to use in your application you have to combine them together then you can use them but in firebase firebase has already collected some of the good services that any mobile and web application are going to use and they are already uh, connected with each other then you can develop your application so if you go to wikipedia they do not have any good definition but i have written a very clear definition here firebase is a set of tools that allow developer to develop an application without server-side programming it has database authentication system reporting analysis and other services ready to use in mobile or web applications by, by that I mean if you go to the website of Firebase, scrolling down, they have all of these services. Now, whenever you are going to build any mobile or web application, it doesn't matter. Either this is a school management system, college management system, this is let's say a blog reader, this is uh, any game or anything you want, they are going to host the server side of that. Now, they already have cloud, Firestore which is in beta, this is a database and this is a very nice database if you have ever coded in PHP and Laravel you know I have a lot of tutorial about those stuff now they, they use something like a schema-less program a schema-less database where the database do not have any schema which MySQL has stuff like that and they have cloud function they have authentication, hosting, cloud storage real-time database which was previously used still people use this one but the new replacement for this one is going to be cloud firestore which has a lot more functionalities have it app ma messaging google analytics is already uh, in use with firebase if you are developing your application so that's all about firebase and now if you go to aws they have those services but they are not connected with each, each other let's say for example what is s3 s3 is for storage you have a storage here also if i come here you have cloud storage you are you can store data here uh, in the same way if you come for mobile they have some services for mobile also and if i come for database they have dynamodb they have elastic cache they have neptune and they have some other uh, services like they function the same thing but they are not connected with each other whenever you want to use some of their services there are some difficulties you, you have to use them and uh, the configuration is a bit difficult than firebase that's why i prefer firebase over aws for building such a small application otherwise i am a big fan of aws they have a lot of good services the pricing is good the way they work is the functionality everything is fine but for the, the application that we are going to build firebase is what we are going to do and the pricing for them is also fine like if you go to the pricing in tab here they have a free tier like you can choose the spark plan which is free and they have a lot of services you can send 100 uh, simultaneous connection at the same time they have one gigs of storage and you have 10 gigs per month you can download and they have a lot of cool services like you can use all of them but if you want to pay a little more like 25 per month you again you will extend your functionality and they have the other plan which is pay as you go which is nice if you have a, a bigger business and sometimes the business uh, need a lot of more customer 
you will pay more if you have less customer you will pay less that is the other services which aws also have the same thing and for the hosting there are some other services i will make another video the for developers and i will talk about all of aws services all of their uh, the services here and i will tell you how this functionality is going to work for developer most of these are not for developers these, these are for devops the people who are managing the server but there are some some of their services for developers i will uh, manage i will collect some of the good their good services then i will explain all of them and i will show you how you can use them in the future videos for now for our e-commerce application we are going to use firebase and as i said they have a lot of cool services and in the next video we will implement firebase in our application